Welcome to a NASCAR Labels tutorial. In this video, we'll be going over the installation process of a virtual printer. Virtual printers are a useful developer and testing tool as they allow you to see the final output of your label without having to waste any label stock or ink ribbons. Virtual printers emulate the printing of any label type or size and the printing is done within seconds. Before we begin, there are two essential components that need to be installed on your system in order for the virtual printer to work. First up is the emulator. So the emulator we will be installing is a Chrome extension called ZPL Printer by Simon Binkert. You can find the download link in the description below or simply search on your browser ZPL Printer. Once that is installed, you're going to want to have drivers for your printer. If you already have a physical Zebra printer, you can use the same drivers as your respective printer for this virtual printer. However, Windows native generic text only printer driver should work fine for this as well. So once everything has been installed, we can begin the setup process. Open the ZPL printer app and go inside the printer settings. In the settings, there should be a host number and a port number. You want to keep track of those two numbers. Next, go to Windows Settings, Printer and Scanner, and you want to manually add the ZPL printer to your list of printers. Select the add printer using an IP address or host name. Next, the device type is TCP IP device or auto detect should be fine as well. And in the host name, you want to add the host number found on your ZPL printer settings. And you can set the port name to any of your port number to any name uh, that is unique and easily identifiable. Press next, and we'll, Windows will be looking for your printer. This may take some time. However, you will be prompted to provide additional port information. This is where in device type, you select custom. And in settings, you make sure that the IP address is correct and the raw protocol is selected. And your port number is the same as the one indicated in your printer settings in the ZPL printer app. In the next stage, you will be asked to install printer drivers. So this process might also take some time. So like I mentioned, if you have installed your Zebra drivers, you can select the corresponding driver. For me, I'll simply go with the generic text only driver. Press next. Give your printer a name. Press next again. Again, and Windows should install your printer. Now, to make sure that your printer is well configured, go to the printer properties. And in the ports tab, your port name should have that you have chosen for your printer should be selected. In the advanced tab, the drivers sh that you have chosen should be displayed. And if you want to verify that your virtual printer works, you can connect your printer to the device hub. For more information on how to set that up, you can watch a tutorial on how to connect your printer to the device hub. So now to test if my printer is functioning, I will go to a screen and print the label from, from there. So in my shipment screen, I will test to see if I can print a shipment label. And there's the label. This means that the printer has been set up properly. And that concludes our tutorial. If you encountered any problems or need help, feel free to reach out to us via our email, sales at asgaralliance.com, or book an appointment with our team on our website, www.asgaralliance.com. 
All the links can be found in the description. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.